We've now moved over to the Gmail tab and we're going to be taking a look at the emails within, within Gmail here. To begin with here, you're going to go ahead and see these three graphs. These should give you a great visual indication of what's going on within email and what might be cause for concern. So to begin with there, there's going to be the risk section. Then below that would be phishing and then malware. And each of these will be color coded for you as well too to give you an idea of what's out there. Certainly if you do see anything that involves phishing or malware, certainly is, this is a great spot to dive into it, take a closer look. For risk though, generally speaking I'd recommend using the risks tab to dive into risk further, though certainly you can look at risks from here as well too. And same with malware, malware does have its own separate tab, but you can certainly look at it from this tab as well too. Next to those graphs, you're going to then see your top external domains. Good to keep an eye on what your top external domains are, especially if you see something on there that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There can be occasions where this has been good at spotting potential compromised accounts where an account has been taken over and then they're using that account to spam a specific domain. You may see that as one of your top external domains. Hopefully that doesn't ever happen to you, but this can be helpful to go ahead and give you some visibility into what those top external domains are. Now when it comes to the various emails here themselves, how it works with email is when an email is sent in to the domain, when an email is sent out from the domain, sent within the domain, in near real time that's going to go ahead and be picked up on. And then emails are retained within this main Gmail tab for, for four hours, generally speaking. And then for emails that do contain risk, phishing, malware, or an email attachment, they're going to be retained for a longer 90 day time period there. So generally speaking, most emails are going to get dropped out dropped off after that four hour time frame, but some emails that do contain any of those four items will be retained for a longer 90 day period of time here. With any email here, you can go ahead and click into it to take a look at the basic information. So if you go ahead and click into it, you'll see the sender, who did this email get sent to, either within the domain or outside the domain. You can click into that to see directly who that was. You can also see the mailboxes this email was in, was in directly as well too. If the email ends up in someone's spam or trash, you'll see a spam or a trash tag applied after the name of the user here as well too to let you know it's in their spam or trash there. You then always do have the ability to download the message body so you can take a look at the email more closely if, if necessary there. But there is another way to take a look at emails. So I'll go ahead and navigate over here to the far right hand side in the actions column. So the first action here is going to be download, but then you also do have the preview option. The preview option here allows you to preview that email so you can take a look at it and see what it looked like to the end users there directly. This can be really helpful if there's an email with a lot of images embedded in the email or things of that nature. It gives you a good idea of what's going on within that email there directly without actually having to just download the text of the email itself. You then can also share via email with this button here as well too. Now there are additional actions that can be taken. With this actions ribbon here, you also do have the ability to delete, quarantine, restore, or share via email. And you can delete, quarantine, or restore up to 10 emails at a time here. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now if there is a long email thread, that will be reflected as a threaded email. And you'd see a number here indicating that that email was threaded together. You'd be able to then unthread that email to take a look at all the various components of that email thread there. A lot of different options as well to search on here. So you can search by things like your subject, sender, even the email message ID. And there's a lot of different filter options, including some great quick filters, looking for emails with phishing or malware or risk. But you can also look at certainly incoming, outgoing, shared within domain emails as well too. And certainly you can expand beyond that with the filter button as well. And for emails that do contain risk or any kind of issue, if you go ahead and click into them, you notice here in the message body, it's got this red icon to go ahead and let you know that there is some kind of issue with this email. In this case, there's risk within the message body. You can take a look at the risk from here as well. But again, generally speaking, it makes a lot more sense to go ahead and take a look at it on the risks tab there. Now for emails that exist outside that four hour time frame that you still want to locate and they don't contain risk, phishing, malware, or an email attachment, we do have a tool called the live email search available. The live email search allows you to do a live API call throughout the entire domain. Now there are a couple limitations here. One of those limitations is one we've talked about a couple times here, and that's going to be that the managed methods platform doesn't have any way to stop outbound mail traffic. The other limitation here is this can't find any completely deleted out of the domain emails, so it's not going to be any kind of archiver or anything of that sort. But if the emails exist within the domain still, this can be a great tool to go ahead and locate that email here. So with this, you just want to fill, fill out as much information as you know about the email here. There's a lot of different search parameters you can use. So for example here, if I just wanted to see the emails that, the, that this admin account has been sending here within this time frame, I can go ahead and press that search. I'll go ahead and run the search here, and then I can go ahead and take a look at those various emails here and take a look at what's going on here. So I can quickly see in this case, there's this new this email that's been sent out to the student here I could then go ahead and take a look at the basic information as you can see here take a look at the recipient I could also then preview that email to take a look at it here directly 
then there is also the option to go ahead and delete those emails as well too if necessary so if there is an issue where somebody maybe sent an email domain wide accidentally spear phishing email that got sent to multiple users within the domain you can use this to find those various emails and delete them out of people's inboxes here so very handy to go ahead and take that action as necessary so just click on the check mark box click delete and you're good to go there and we'll go ahead and delete those emails out of the domain entirely there one of the other options you do have as well to search within, if we come over here to the search in, you notice that there's also an option to search within Google Chats as well too. So this is a newer feature here, but it does a great job of looking for various, various things within chat as well too. And you can certainly use a lot of different parameters to look for things within chat or any emails in general there as well too. So that's going to be